Hello everybody and welcome to my next tutorial. This tutorial is just going to be rearranging our code to make it a bit more object oriented. So now let's get right into it. So let's first start with um, the player.h. Now in reality these stuff shouldn't be um, in the public section. So let's copy and um, let's cut that and let's paste it in the private section so now there's a lot of stuff that we'll need from the private section so now let's make some get functions so get x um get y uh get x2 and get y2 and we need to get speed I think we'll need to get a lot of things if not everything uh, let's, let's put get gravity I don't remember everything we'll need so we'll have to come back and change some of the stuff but let's put let, that for now and let's go to player.cpp and at the bottom of your code Put player get x, and this is a re um, relatively easy process because all you're doing is returning something. So get y, just returning y. Uh, get x two. Let me scroll down here for you. <laughs> that rhymes. Anyways return x2 and player get y2 and return y2 and player get speed and let's return the speed and player dot get gravity and return the gravity so that's easy enough so um let's go to our collision.cpp and everything that we use the x and y stuff for we need to change that so yeah you're gonna see a lot of errors so f um, with the X we have to replace it with get X and same for the Y get Y don't forget the parentheses get X2 and I'll just put this down here get Y2 and for the platform, oh, we never said anything for that. So let's go to player.h, put in get platform. And we'll also need to jump also. So get jump. Let's go to player.cpp. Player get platform. Oh, and sorry, but the platform's a boolean, so we have to put bool. Sorry, so let's go to player.h, and jump is also a boolean. So we have to change both of them to bool. So return platform and player.get jump return uh jump so let's go to our collision.cpp again so replace this with uh get platform oh sorry we're setting platform equal to false sorry 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 so we shouldn't do a get um 
unless we're actually gonna get the value. When will we get the value? Uh Okay, so we also need to have a set method or a set function, sorry. So let's go to bool set platform and value and uh so let's go back to play.cpp player did I set to boolean yep set platform and value and all I have to do is put uh and make this void sorry and we're gonna set platform is equal to value so that's it so let's go to collision.cpp and we're gonna put in oh I don't know why I keep on messing up but this should be bool value and bool value so in our collision.cpp we're gonna put set platform false okay so we for our v direction for our player.cpp we never had got we don't have a um a set method and i think we'll need a get method a get and set method uh yes we will and we'll need that for the x and our y and all that stuff also so to separate our code a little bit we'll have our get um functions i keep on saying method i'm coding in c sharp a lot lately so we have to have our set functions here so i'm going to put set x um set Oh, sorry void set y and you could use um overloading you could use function overloading in order to do this stuff so it doesn't really matter but it's whatever and oh yeah we're gonna have a let's go to for the direction v um get and let's put all the integers together and get v direction and get h direction and let's go to play.cvp and as you can see this is a long and annoying process i might just stop the video because you will get the gist of what i'm trying to do right uh how much more minutes i got i got like a minute so let let me just finish this off. So we'll put in player v e direction. Sorry, get v direction, and we'll just return the v direction and get h direction return h direction and that's simple enough and for our set functions let's go down scroll down scroll down let me copy this so we have the platform set x and value so our x is going to be equal to value uh, set y and y is going to be equal to the value and if you ever code in a true object oriented language this is what you're going to have to do so might as well get used to it so it's y is equal to value 
So let's go to our collision.cpp and quickly uh, play dot get v direction and get y and we never had it we have to make a get um f um a get function for velocity y and for the rest of these but as you can see this is what you're going to have to do for the rest of your program this is not needed but if you want your code to be protected and you want to do proper object oriented programming which you're going to have to do later on then you might as well do this you might as well get used to it Sorry I never introduced it earlier, but it would have taken up more time. This is optional, but I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and bye.